Hey guys and girls, this is Trax from Database Comics. Welcome to my new video in my Krypton series where we cover the world of Superman and his villains. So in today's video we talk about one of the coolest elements of the Superman mythos. Everyone has seen it by now, you've heard it, you've enjoyed it. We're talking about the Fortress of Solitude. Made popular by the classic Superman movie, the Donner movie, the Fortress of Solitude is the most distinctive part of Superman's world. Since there have been so many versions of it, there's still five minutes about the Fortress of Solitude. Number five, it is created by magic. Really, Superman the movie may be the best comic book movie of all time. And also, it may be the reason why the Fortress of Solitude is so popular. The advanced features and thanks for the time, the movie gave us a creative view of Superman in his world. During the movie, when Superman discovers the Kryptonian sandstone, he journeys to the North Pole. There, he throws the sandstone on the ice and the fortress appears. In many respects, this may seem like magic. However, in the, uh, in the up, up and away coming storyline, we discover that the sandstone crystals are a Kryptonian mineral. Importantly, it is a highly adaptable and can be programmed to go into a military fleet or, of course, the Fortress of Solitude. In fact, after the Internet Crisis, Lex Luthor discovered it and used the against the man as Number 4. Today's Indestructible. Perhaps to be or not, a fact of highly advanced Kryptonian technology, the Fortress of Solitude has seemed indestructible. However, it has been destroyed on multiple occasions. For instance, in Superman and Team, the machine, an undercover US agency led by General Samuel, who is also Lois and his father, actually locates to invade and causes its self destruction. Later, we will see why it is still one of the most advanced Superman. Number 3. There is only one focus. Though this myth is correct, the Man of Steel movie actually changed the Superman universe. Indeed, the movie completely changes the topography of Krypton, changing it from the Donner Ice Planet to a savage world, teeming with trees, white animals, and advanced Krypton technology. Particularly in the movie, Superman's Fortress of Solitude is actually a scout ship used by the Kryptonian army to invade the world. In fact, on Earth, it is possible that the Fortress of Solitude Superman finds is actually among many possible ones on Earth. Number 2 It is located in the North Pole. Now the element of the mythos have been the most consistent. In fact, the Donna movie popularized the idea that Superman's fortress is located in an unknown location in North Pole and it is impregnable to humans. However, in a move that in passion fans, DC comes from the Superman's fortress of Solitude to the Amazon. After Superman fought tomorrow, no longer a structure made of crystal. It was the most spiritual piece of Kryptonian tech. Number one, it has advanced Kryptonian tech. Certainly, this myth is the most correct. At the same time, the Fortress of Solitude is both Superman's lab and an artifact of Kryptonian culture. It contains an armory of weapons, a zoo with alien species, an observatory, an archive, and even a Kryptonian memory. The Justice League Unlimited episode for the man who has everything. When an enraged Superman is about to be a monk of the killing blow, he looks at the giant monument of Jorel and Lara. Then he relents until the battle continues. It is a reminder that the Fortress of Solitude is part of the memory of Superman's Kryptonian heritage. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter.